it's turned into a uh, oh, rather nice day. It started off kind of coolish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She saw something. We, we were just in the backyard and she must have been a bird or something and she's been chasing it off ever since. So, yeah. Yeah, so I, I uh, this morning, I went to the uh, post office and got my lottery ticket and or traded in my lottery tickets. I got two more. And uh, it was... Like I went, I went that way, didn't go to the Crescent, just went two blocks over and then well, I, I made a, a rather short, but it was two kilometers, I believe is what it, it was on the, on the phone. I think I was surprised that it was actually two kilometers to walk that far, which is, I felt very tired because it's sort of dense and warm and close close dense yes and it's not breezy and this morning it was cooler so it was better now it's probably warmer and worse but today the kids headed off to the hospital yes she was already dilated and uh, and they headed off. I was yet yesterday. She was already dilated, but uh, they said they would send her off today. So they went in this morning, and she's been having contractions. And, and now I'm just waiting to hear. My son and I we chatted for a little bit, but now I'm not going to. Keep on asking, so how's it going? How's it going? Yeah. I'll find out when it's done. So I, I let my daughter know, and she went, yay! And since I walked past Marianne, she knows. And uh, and I told Judy, too because Marianne will tell Judy, so. But this is lovely. Quiet dog on her pillow. Oh. I was inside, I, I had my, we were outside in the morning, of course. We've been outside for most of the day. And when I wasn't walking, I came back and sat out here. And, uh, like, I don't know what to do with her because I do not want her downstairs with me. Although she's going to be staying if, if this goes overnight. <laughs> like, I don't know how things go with babies these days. I don't know if you get sent home after a few hours or if you stay overnight or what. So I, I really don't know what's going to happen. But we're prepared for all eventualities. So if it comes to this time, I will feed the dog and cat. And if it goes to overnight, she's going to be created in my bedroom. She's used to the crate. She sleeps there every night. So uh, she'll just be downstairs with me instead of upstairs with nobody. And I guess if push comes to shove, we'll, we'll go to, we'll go for a, a walk at around nine o'clock, which is apparently what happens. Her last walk of the day, her only walk of the day. I will take her for walks when she's a bit older. And that will make a big difference. But anyway, she's she's peed and she's pooed. Once each for me. 
yeah, so that's that's the excitement of the day. Yeah. You guys know, and my daughter knows, and that's it. It's, it's ever so slightly humid. You can, I can feel it. Yeah. Which makes it wonderful, which is why I'm happy. I don't like cool, dry weather. I like slightly humid, warm weather. Okay, well, if she's come, I'm going to have my, my snack and some more coffee and do some more reading. There's my book. This is exciting. Grandson number three. And... My sister-in-law had two boys and her son. So her, she has a grandson as well. So, so far it's all grandsons. It's my sister who has the granddaughters. This side has all grandsons and grandpuppies. Anyway, just people talking. They're allowed to talk. Yeah, so I'm going to sit back and 